is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some breaking wwe action figure news for you guys if you guys were unaware you guys already know that we do have wwe elite series 90 and 91 that we just got we got elite 92 with adam cole and all the business coming soon we have elite series 93 not only coming soon as well with seth rollins cesaro all the good stuff coming soon man but today we actually have some news out of elite series 94 which i'm very excited to get into and if you guys are wondering where this news comes from well it's actually just an anonymous pop i got an anonymous pop just kind of re released out of nowhere and it is on good ground that this is a solid source so this should be very good here as we get into it man let's go ahead and dive into it wwe elite series 94 as we got it right here let's start off with the first two we have a full tag team here in elite series 94 and it is going to be none other than wwe's own msk yes we have msk from wwe nxt you guys already know we got our tag champs right here and holy crap what a great pair of elites i think these guys are going to look fantastic in figure form i just like you know you got tattoos you got some nice hairstyles going on for both these guys i hope they use an epic formula i hope that they get their gear right but nash carter wesley both members of msk here and it should be excellent i expect us to get the nxt tag team championships and i hope they give us like the xbox sort of gear you know in the white the black and the like lime green with the purple accents i'm hoping that's what we get here but hopefully that will be the case, man. But what a like what a great start to your wave of Elite 94. You get some young prospects in here. I think they're gonna tear it up in all kinds of pick feds. I can already think of like four pick feds off the top of my head that I cannot wait to see these guys just freaking ball out on. It's gonna be insane. But MSK, Nash Carter, Wes Lee, both of these guys are insane. It should be a very, very fun deal here as we see these guys in Elite Series 94. Again, hope I, I just hope that they nail the head sculpts, they nail the gear, we get some great accessories, double jointed arms. It should be a really fun deal. Hopefully they give them a good formula and we get it all going. But Nash Carter and Wesley are both coming to Elite Series 94. Should be really fun. Can't wait to see what these look like. But uh, we have it on good ground that these are two guys that will be in Elite Series 94. Moving on to a figure we already know about. You guys know that Mace from Retribution will be in Elite Series 94. We already saw the figure, right? We've already seen it. We, we, we already know the stuff, man. We already know the stuff. Not really a big fan of you know retribution we already know this but mace looks kind of like co a cool figure i feel like him and t-bar like when they're up on the shelf at retail i feel like a lot of people are going to gravitate towards that or at least kids will for sure they're going to see those guys and be like damn those guys look cool grab them even though they they have not been on our tv for a while there but mace and t-bar you guys know that mace is represented in elite series 94 hopefully he'll be a fun figure even though not a big fan of it there next up in the set is actually pretty shocking to me and we have British Bulldog. Now, I have seven figures to list off here, and I don't know which one is the collector's edition. I don't know if we're getting seven figures straight up in this wave, or if it's going to be the traditional sixth with the collector's edition. I heard that collector's editions were taking a break, and then they were going to come back, so I don't know what the deal is. Maybe this is an early rendition of Elite Series 94 before they change something. Maybe something gets pushed back whatever the deal is, but British Bulldog is in this series. You guys know he was the collector's edition of Elite Series 82 way back when. Now he is a part of the main Elite line in Elite 94. We have seen him in the Elite line before, not only the collector's edition, we've seen him in the Legends wave, we've seen him way back in like, what, Elite Series 39 I think it was with Dolph Ziggler and Sting and that whole wave there. So I don't know what to expect out of British Bulldog. It may be in his jeans, that would be really cool. You guys know that we've seen a basic of that in the Battle Pack or the tra Championship Showdown. Little deal there so we'll have to see about that but British Bulldog is a part of Elite Series 94 that should be an interesting figure I'm interested to see how well that goes he will be double jointed arms uh, you know pinless double joints I'm sure he should be pretty cool and hopefully we get a good gear that we haven't seen or I could see them like re-releasing that Legends figure you know giving us like a re-release of that but upgraded is kind of what I'm thinking there we'll have to see about it but British Bulldog Elite 94 there another guy returning to the main singles line now this is very interesting Breath the Hitman Heart in Elite Series 94. So you get two flashback figures here. You got three kind of current talents, and you got two flashbacks right there with British Bulldog and Bret Hart. Now, Bret Hart has never had a singles version in the main Elite line. He did have the Elite 43 figure, but that was a part of the Hart Foundation. Now we have him 
in Elite Series 94. I don't know what gear they could go with. I honestly, like, something that would be so badass for me is if we got, like, a re-release of the all-pink Bret Hart in the all-pink singlet, and they redid that figure with double-jointed arms and a nice head sculpt. They still have not perfected the Bret Hart head sculpt. Hopefully, this will be the case where they finally nail it and they get it correct. Maybe he'll come with a nice leather jacket cloth goods, or I don't know what they're thinking, man. We'll have to see about it, but I'd really like to see the pink you know, the pink gear re-released. It won't be as cool as the packaging from the ringside exclusive, you know. It won't have all the bells and whistles, but it would still be really cool to see that figure refractured there. Or just give us a pink gear Brett the Hitman heart from head to toe. That's what I would love to see there. But who knows what it could be. It could be so many different gears, but that's just the one that I would really, really love to see. But Bret Hart Elite Series 94 there. And the next two we have right here are very interesting. Next up is Edge. Now, I think that is one that could definitely be possible. I think that is absolutely 100% something that we could see. It could be one from his, you know, the past couple years on TV. You got, like, the black and light blue gear. You got his, like, brood black and reddish gear. You have his pink gear. There's so many different gears. Even his WrestleMania gear in the white. That's probably what it would be. But uh, you have a lot of gears that it could be for Edge, so I don't really care. I, I imagine he would probably be the Chase variant, right? Because you could get one of his, like his tights have not changed in the way they are. They just change colors. So that'd be an excellent way to get that in there. You do the WrestleMania gear as the main, and then you could change it to the Brood gear for the Chase or something. That would be really sick. You get best of both worlds right there. Maybe a crazed spearhead sculpt or something. But hopefully it's his WrestleMania gear in the white. You guys know that I would love to see that. I, I feel like that's what this is going to be, right? Elite 94 would be his WrestleMania white gear. That's got to be what that is there. So Edge will be in white if I had to guess for Elite Series 94. You guys know that we also have his Hall of Fame or his Legends figure, his Target exclusive Legends figure is coming soon as well with the beautiful red jacket. Maybe you can mix and match those figures around, get some really sick-ass pick-fed gears or something. Uh, my, my, my mind's just going crazy. I can't wait for a double-jointed arm Edge. I know we got the Ultimate Edition, but this one should be even better. So Edge and Elite Series 94 should be excellent. And the last figure in the wave, which could or couldn't be the Collector's Edition, I mean, Bret Hart, British Bulldog, Edge, or this figure could be the Collector's Edition, but it is none other than Stephanie McMahon. Very interesting figure here in Elite Series 94. Now, what I'm thinking is that uh, she's probably going to be in a flashback setting, right? I doubt that it's an updated one. We've seen her before. This is her third Elite, like in quotations, Elite. I know she's had her like business suit basic figures, but she had the, what, Elite 37 figure. She had her Elite 50 figure, which is one that everybody forgets about. I even forget about that figure. Then you have her Epic Moments Milko Mania figure with Kurt Angle and Stone Cold from the Milko Mania playset there. So all three of those figures are very solid, but this one should be very cool. I think it'll be like a flashback to maybe like the, you know, like, if I had to guess, it would probably be part of that McMahon-Helmsley faction, you know? Gotta, gotta get kind of like a corporation era Stephanie McMahon maybe with a white t-shirt and the Women's Championship. I think that would be a really sick thing. That's what I'm guessing. You know, we saw that from Jax before. She could have, like, you know, the T-shirt that she used to rock with Triple H. I think that would be a really sweet figure. So that's what I would imagine it would be if we do get Stephanie McMahon in this, you know, uh, this whole deal here for Elite Series 94. We'll just have to see about it. It'll be a very interesting deal once all these figures release. But if I had to guess, if I had to take a stab at it, that would probably be the attire that... Stephanie McMahon gets in these figures, but we'll have to see about it. Again, we'll have to see about those things, but I think that pretty much wraps up Elite Series 94, man. That's pretty much all that I have for you. Guys, again, remember Nash Carter, Wes Lee, Mace, British Bulldog, Bret Hart, Edge, and Stephanie McMahon. Again, uh, these things are subject to change. They could change any day. They could see the video and then change it immediately. These things are never concrete. They jump all over the place. You never really know. You never have a full grasp on it. They're always changing waves and everything's subject to change, but I think that this is a pretty good idea. I could see these things. No, I don't look at any of these figures and be like, hell no, we're not getting any of these. I can totally see these taking place. And I'm sure that at New York Toy Fair, we'll probably see render images of these guys coming up soon in February. I think it's like mid-February we get New York Toy Fair. We'll see tons of AEW figures. We'll see tons of WWE elites. I think it's actually going to be in person this year, so we'll have to see about that. But that should be excellent. I cannot wait for that. But that wraps up today's video on our WWE Action Figure News Elite Series 94. Let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. You guys hype for it, not hype for it. What do you guys think? Let me know all those things down in the comment section below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let us know your thoughts on Elite Series 94 down in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Don't cross the line like uh, Elite Series 94 for releasing Mace. You cross the line.